Hey everybody, so I wanted to show you my homemade soap that I made. I just reused a jar that I had run out of soap in and it is basically castile soap, plain castile soap, um, some olive oil, some aloe, and then water, distilled water, and um, and my blend of essential oils. Now you could do whatever blend you want. Um, lemon lavender's great, just plain lavender, a citrus one. Um, you could do like citrus and clove and cinnamon, which is very antiseptic and gets rid of the germs, especially this time of year. That's a nice thing to do. Um, this particular one I did is lemon and citrus with a lot of different herbs. So it's got basil and um, oh, juniper, I believe, and thyme, and I can't remember. <laughs> but it's written down in the post that I did on the 30th. Um, but I wanted to show you how awesome it is. So I'm gonna turn on the water. This, so when you make your own soap, it starts to separate. Of course, I've already shaken it up so you can't see, but it starts to, you'd see like the olive oil, it would be a thick yellow layer, and then it separates. So right before you use it, you just give a quick little shake, and then you can see it's getting like nice and soapy, and it smells amazing. And the lemon is very disinfectant. It kills all sorts of germs. The um, other herbs that are in it also are very disinfectant. So great for the kitchen, great for the house, great for keeping the germs down. And the amazing thing is I made this bottle, it was full on November 30th. And it is, today is the 5th of December. So apparently my family is loving it. We are definitely fighting some germs in the house. So we've been washing hands extra, but uh, you know, I'm absolutely loving that everyone's using it and enjoying it. And the great greatest part is that it doesn't have any crappy chemicals in it. My hands actually feel so soft after using it. Like, hang on, <laughs> just want to dry them for a sec. But, you know, you can see they, they're soft, they're not irritated. Um, they're not dry and like I said we've been fighting germs in the house so we have definitely been washing hands more than typically um, and we're getting into the winter time so we're I'm a pale white girl who is very sensitive my hands and my skin gets very cracked easily so this is a fantastic recipe I hope everybody if you decide to try it that you enjoy it if you have any suggestions or ideas of how we can fix it and make it even better or blends that you do for essential oils you know post them up let's let's hear what everybody's got to say and what they're trying um, yeah so I just wanted to share this with you all and I hope you're having a great time um, learning about the natural beauties. I'm trying to get posting more and get more on this page for you. Um, so I'm going to get more active with that. So thank you so much for your support and talk to you all later. Bye.